Rob? 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 Hello? Where are you? Rob? Rob? Where is he? We don't need them anyway. Today on Daddy Jeep Garage, we're gonna put on an Artec Dana 60 axle truss. Follow along. Dana 60, Artec, low profile axle truss. Uh, thing goes together pretty easy. It's keyed in various spots, so all the parts go right together. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure out these legs. They're actually keyed in such a way so that the front sits flush and the back sits flush. I had them backwards and couldn't figure out why I wasn't going together. Got that fixed. All in all, really good spacing right out of the gate. Um, I need to do some extra shaving on the housing or the axle or the uh, truss. I'm probably just going to trim off a little bit of the truss. And everything fits nice and tight. It's pretty much ready to go. I'm going to figure out a way to squeeze these together a little bit just to get the uh, two tubes together or just to get it tighter to the tubes for welding. Um, clean it up and burn it in. Fit more better now. I'm filming oh. <laughs> right in front. <laughs> well, I want it to be involved. First rule of filming don't get in front of the camera. Nice little space. I see daylight. Where? Oh, yeah. Where they're supposed to be daylight. That's good. So I am pretty happy with the fit of this. I'm going to get some bolts into it to squeeze these into the tubes and then get a clamp over this just to compress it down tight. Uh, get some tacks all over it. Um, I'll probably paint the inside of this before I actually tack it to the axle. So we'll tack the truss all together nice and tight, pull it off, paint the inside, we'll steal it, come back, lay it down, and then tack it to the axle. I think that's a good idea. Thanks. Yeah. Nice. All right, let's take it off, see if it holds together. Moment of truth. Hey, hey, I can weld sometimes. So what I think I'm gonna do is finish weld this on the table, uh, paint the inside, uh, if I finish welding on the table, I can get weld on the inside of the truss, which will help a lot. Uh, paint the inside so it doesn't rust. Um, and then once that's dried and cooled down, put it back on here, clamp it down tight to the axle, and burn it in. Alright, so burning the inside this is uh, definitely going to help me keep these uh, uprights straight. 
So I'll work from the outside, then back in, outside, then back in, and it's gonna keep these from walking out. If I were just to burn it on top of the truss, they're gonna, they're gonna pull out. So, so it should help a lot. Here we go. I'm gonna say this is probably pretty hot. But I'm gonna do these keys and then we'll be done. That good penetration, you can see all this nice penetration where I've been. It's all good. I don't claim to be a welder in any sense of the word, so I don't do a lot of grinding. It's finally cool enough to the touch, I can hold on to it for a little bit. Uh, using a product called Steel It. Uh, it's a weldable primer. So it's got stainless steel, 316 stainless steel in it. Uh, this will help with corrosion, and I don't have to worry about it without welding through it. I've already done the axle in it, it looks great. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's the toughest stuff in the world, but it keeps everything from rusting. You know? So, just going to line the inside of this, and we'll go from there. This stuff shoots like a cannon. Looks like I got it all. Cool. It's not cheap. It's like 30 bucks a can, but um, it's going pretty far so far. I mean, it's. I bought two cans hoping to get both axles done along with whatever else. So let's hope it holds up. All right, so like I said, we're just going to weld on the tubes. Um, need to find out about the cast before I do anything. I know you got to preheat it, but I want to make sure you use the right wire. I might not even need it uh, welded. The whole point is to join the two tubes together. Um, don't know where my upper link is going to be at this point. It might be over here, might be over here. If, it, if it's over here, I'll have to weld it. Um, but if not, and it's over here, I might be able to get away without so, um, we'll see when the time comes. All right, let's see if I'm a liar. See if I can actually weld through this steel it stuff. Uh, again, just gonna tack it. I really don't think I even need a clamp. Everything looks really nice. It's all tight. Um, you know, I don't think there's much science to this. Our tech has already put out these notches, so basically you're gonna put a stitch at everywhere it's touching touching the axle. Stuff right here. Wow. Well, it's pretty damn good. Holy cow. It smells a little funny. You'll have that on the big jobs. Well, I'm 
actually getting my gases off. That'll do it. Let's see what happens when you turn the gas on. Much better. more porosity. Okay, just give it some tacks all the way around. Big, meaty tack. If you're doing this on a complete axle, make sure you're not putting your ground clamp through a ball joint or um, geez, anything that, uh, any kind of bearings. Um, you want to be right on the tube. So get it on the C if you can. Uh, you'll lock up a, a whole bunch of bad stuff you don't want. Holy cow, it's one piece. Cool. All right. I'm going to finish burning this in. And we're going to call it done. Got to go slow on the heat. Uh, I think I got the truss a little hot when it first started, but luckily it didn't get any kind of warping. Uh, I'm going to take my time and go a little slower. All right. Here it is in all of its hot glory warm to the touch um, I don't think I did any kind of damage so I uh, don't have a temp gun to check it but didn't keep my hand on it for a second or two and then uh, have to take it off so 200 degrees 150 200 degrees not bad um, gonna finish this up do uh, some cleanup and uh, get it painted um, no, I, I think my welds got better throughout it, so I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, it's definitely not going anywhere with the amount of the amount of weld that is there. Um, like I said, I'm not uh, going to call myself a welder, but um, this thing is definitely stuck to this axle. So um, stay tuned. Got some big plans for this axle, um, and I am really excited for it. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.